of Tim Thomas for tonight. He'll dump it into Kenyon Martin at a double double. 16 points and 12 rebounds. A follow away by Kenyon and Kmart answers at the other end. Tough shot, awfully tough shot. Yeah, they really found themselves playing uphill all night long. Kenyon Martin had to bat it away. Kid saves it. Jefferson three on the shot clock, and he hit a three. Up early in the game, and, and he uh, he's going to be a lot more aggressive. The defense. The, the defense by the Knicks right now is, is, is aggressive, and Richard Jefferson bails the Nets out with a, with a long three. Eight seconds on thought that it would be much more closely officiated, didn't he, Coach? Yeah, very definitely so because of all the publicity. And there is Jefferson hitting one, and he cannot wait to work with Stephon Marbury before the beginning next season. Have some time. One point guard to another. Kenyon Martin. Oh, as he looks solid. That's a tough shot, and we need to keep an eye on that bump. And then take that beat. You know, I believe it when you say that, don't you? <laughs> the way he said that. I believe it. Skip pass comes out to Kerry Kibbles, and he was solid the other night as he hit his first six shots of the game. Our old giant comes into the ball game, and he has talked about the emotion of the series, and he'll uh, have to play some minutes now with Mohammed in foul trouble. Kid held it, and he's fouled by Penny Hardaway. Match up with Penny Hardaway tonight and was looking forward to it. Those two played with one another, played against one another in practice for a few years there in Phoenix and very, very fired up about this matchup. Yeah, and I think, I think Hardaway got a little upset with the Kimba. The deck and a long lead pass to Kittles. And that's where Speed kills. He just beat everybody down the floor. As we see here, the net starting the break. Richard Jefferson with a couple dribbles. He, he was up. He was throwing that ball to Jason Kidd. Yep. And uh, fortunately, but Kerry Kittles with that kind of speed was able to catch up to that pass. Brilliant. And Holloway being a top, then uh, Marbury can be the reciprocant of a lot of those passes. And Holloway's above the traps if they trap. Jefferson dumps it inside and Kenyon Martin flushes it through. Really good. And here we go with the New Jersey pick and roll. Kenyon Martin rolling to the basket hard. Great pass by Richard Jefferson. A nice finish. Well, see, and that again is Dikembe Mutombo talking and communicating. He's the back man on that, and that's what he got in a little problem with before with Hardaway. Well, in his position baskets, but the Nets have been functioning fairly well in the half-court offense. Here's Rodney Rogers with a three, and Rodney, who was the sixth man of the year for the Phoenix Suns, with the foul. Yeah, this is kind of a hodgepodge of a lineup that they've got going right now for the New Jersey Nets. And uh, Rodney Rogers steps out, and this is where he's versatile. He can go inside, and he can shoot the three. And now coming into the game is going to be Frank Williams, the second-year man from Illinois. Out of tonight. Out against the kid. He has already taken four in six minutes. Pretty, his leg looks pretty fresh for a guy 85 years old. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Jason Kidd. So you know, there's some talk. You run hard, guy, when you know the guy's going to play. And that's a great get and go. Jason, and then and then back cut his man, who I believe was then four. He's going to have to shoot it. Two, try to go up, strip. Good defense that time. Up the comes to Kenny Martin. He lost the handle, but oh. somehow Rodney Rogers came up with the ball. Look what I found. That was look what I found. Kenny Martin. It's a bet for There's a crafty veteran, Lucius Harris. He filled in when Jason Kidd was shelved with that knee problem. And he missed nine games. Here is Kenny Martin and Martin. Shot by Jason Kidd. And they're off to the races. Look at this. Look at this. This is perfection in the fast break game. They're, they're and, and look here, Jason Kidd, he got the ball four seconds or less for them to go end, end to end and finish with a dunk. You always hear about those four four forties. How about that for a horse? Let me tell you something. I'm an old man with bad feet. Bad feet. The Knicks have to sustain it, though. They started this game playing intelligently and aggressively. That, that, that's just uh, incredible. That the, that They're only down by two, 26 to 24. And since that time, that body language has really changed, as you mentioned. Kittles tries to get it to Kenny Martin, and he does. And Kenny Martin has two quick baskets. Absolutely. Looks like he's angry at him a lot of times. You know, you look at the penetration, he drops it all. Martin February's were playing. That a team, if a team is dominating like you like this, well, put them down on the ground. You didn't hurt them. I'm going to tell you, the Knicks right now, they can't take care of the basketball. But you didn't let somebody do this to them. We got Jason Kidd doing what he does best, getting in the open court. And then and the Knicks are just at a disadvantage. You got two of the best finishers in the league, and Kenyon Martin, Richard Jefferson. Kenyon Martin's going to throw it down. 
And right now, you wonder how the Knicks are going to find a win in this series. It counts whether you get off of a trampoline or not. He has seven points in the second half. Martin playing hard, but it's sometimes on the edge of being out of control. As Kidd, as only Kidd can do, sets him up. Dean, he has done it. A 10-point game, 2.49 to go in the third. Rodney Rogers with a three ball. And coach, guys, that's why Rodney Rogers is valuable. Opportunity by the next. Too tough look. But you know what Steph's doing right now? He's playing the game the way the point guards need to play this game. Rodney Rogers has come in and scored five points in the critical stage of the game. The boy came from Kentucky, Rex Chapman. Great drive. Great drive. All right, as Try to settle Dikembe down a little bit. And that's unfortunate because he's been having an effect on this game. Yeah, there. He, he, he can control himself with that, but he just came out and made the first one of the night. And he just, they, they, they're very limited. Jefferson saw in his outside game. He hit a two earlier, now hits a three. That's Tim Thomas right now. Tim Thomas is not, you know, what you'd call a lockdown defender, not even a, a, a maybe an average defender in this league. But out of flop. You got to act in this game. You got to be an actor. And there is Kenyon Martin. I tell you, Martin and Jefferson have been so effective. You know, somebody who's been really unsung tonight is Kerry Kittles. He's done a great job defensively. He's just kind of been Johnny on the spot. Just on like right cue. On cue. That's a great pass. That's an even better catch. But Them winning it all, but are they capable of that? Well, they're pretty They're pretty good. And Jason with another great pass. And that's, like I said, even a better catch. The trail is for a three. So, you know, those guys always draw a lot of attention. And then uh, with Kerry coming you know, on the secondary break, because everybody falls to follow RJ or Paymark, then, you know, Kerry can tee it up. And, you know, those are the thought processes, you know, that I try to go through as fast as I can. For respect, no one pays any attention to the next. But I want to tell you, how can you not pay attention to this team anymore? Here is Hardaway going in and deflected. And you might got a piece of it. Jefferson flying to the hole. And then the follow by Kerry Kittles. They are just... That was Kerry Kittles. He called him Johnny on the spot earlier. And uh, you know, he's got two, two little two little putbacks like that. Layups and dunks right now. 14 of them. Biggest lead of the tonight. game now for the Nets and Ben Baker. Now you're cool for a guy like Ben Baker. His feet hitting the ground when he came over after coaching the last three years in Toronto. I've got a lot of respect for Lenny. And I know he's suffering. And, oh, there's a major breakdown defensively there. In there and watching him, the energy, of course, uh, Lawrence Frank at one time was a basketball manager for Bob Knight at Indiana. Never was a head coach anywhere before. And Kittles with an outstanding three. These guys have been playing musical chairs trying to find their team. With the Scalabrini with that big three at the end of the first half in game one. Williams down the floor. He's kind of protecting the ball and Sweetie cleans it up. Well, it will be a game three, guys, at Madison Square Garden. We'll all be there as the Knicks will go in there. Down two games to none. Thursday night at 8 o'clock. Be there for the Knicks win. We come back to see this Knicks win. That, uh, yeah, that our buddy here has predicted will happen.